Okay, this is um, uh, uh, my usual intro. Hello, folks. Dan for Shizzle. Uh, what we're going to be taking a look at today is this, which is the K Fun Light Clone. Um, it's available from modsandatties.com for the price of £34.99. Um, yeah, we're going to show you how to build one. We're going to show you all of the parts in close up detail and we'll just have a general chat about the device right we're gonna go down low and we'll have a look see you in a sec okay so what we do is we're gonna take a look at everything you get inside the k fun box um, right go. just change the focus a little here we are what we get is obviously we get our k fun which is there we're gonna have a look at everything in a bit closer detail in a second but we get a stainless steel tank section we get two pieces of eco wall i think it might have been one piece but i can't actually remember uh we get a tiny, tiny stubby drip tip. I mean, literally, it is tiny. We get a little screwdriver, which is double ended. So, one end we've got Phillips, and the other end we have Flathead. So, another good little. Uh, it's, it's not really something that's needed in the box but again nice little extra uh, we do have a baggie of spares some o-rings in there a couple of extra screws so again nice and we also have the K Fun style drip tip right so that's the box out of the way what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strip down this K Fun completely so here is our K-Fun. I want to take a top section off. This is something I've found happens. Uh, as you're taking the top section off, you will get your chimney come with it. So, but that's no biggie. Um, right. So there's our top section, let's put that back in so you can see how it comes to pieces as it comes, sort of thing. There is our top tank section. Right, there's our chimney. Here's our clear tank section, which can be replaced with the stainless steel section if you're using something like Pluid or any other sort of tank cracker. And then we have our bottom section, which is rather hard to get off but not impossible right there then we are left with our base and this section is normally on the base but it came away at the same time as the chimney and everything else did so yeah there's our other section there right there and there so what we need to do now is grab a little tiny piece of wire for us to use on the build one second there we are. Right, so what I'm going to be using is I'm just going to be using a little piece of ribbon wire uh, just there on some of my own silica which is 4mm I'm not going to use the silica that came in the in the uh, package because I don't f it's just I never have done something that I can't do is use the silica that was already there and my own little piece of formula silica which is there so right we'll show you all these pieces a bit up close here's our what sits over the coil I'm not sure what you'd call it coil protector or whatever uh, here's our bottom tank piece right here this is all stainless steel 
every piece is stainless steel so here's our stainless steel middle tank section which is rather nicely done let's change this focus a little there it's rather nicely finished very fine threads uh, here's our plastic tank section uh, the stainless steel tank and the plastic tank do have a small size difference if I remember rightly Yeah, the stainless steel tank is just a tiny 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 bit larger. It's like a mill in it uh, Here's our chimney Right there Top tank section And of course our top cap now you'll see there's a little bit of juice in there that is I have had this set up and vaping so and there's our top tank section and this is the drip tip we're going to use today just because it completes the K-Fun look and this wouldn't be a K-Fun clone video without the K-Fun look would it so there's our top right so I'm going to take this 4mm silica and I want 6 wraps from this ribbon so one. Two, three, four, five, six. There's our six wraps. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the little screwdriver that was included in its flathead mode. I'm just going to space these coils out a little better. So, just make sure I'm on camera doing this. I just want them nice and close but not touching. This isn't a micro core build, so I just want them not touching. Um, the reason I've gone for six wraps instead of maybe four is I want to be able to use this on both a VW mod and a mechanical mod in a moment when we get back to taking a draw. So I want it to be about 1.4 ohms. And that is what that should give me. That should give me about 1.4 ohms. Right, so snip off the wire we don't need, like so. Then we can attach to our base. Now, you see here, there is two small screws. What we want to do is loosen these off, just two turns, just enough to get the wire underneath. like so just enough just enough so you can fit your wire under because if you have it too loose you're going to be turning and turning and turning and having to hold the wire in at the same time but this way what I've created is I've created a small gap for me to stick the wire in and then I know that it's only two turns to tighten so like so All right, then we want to take our wick and um, this is just going to be a straightforward I'm going to attach one leg to one leg and sit the coil over the hole like so and now uh, what, we'll, what what that will do is it will give me a good airflow and it will also give me good a good wicking I'll show you what I mean in a second there is many ways to build a K-Fun light but this is just simple to do I'm gonna do some vi build videos don't get me wrong but this is just simple to do and it's um it works I don't want to be going into different builds of coil and that in the review video so there is one of our wires trapped like so and then you can see what I'm aiming for. I'm aiming to have that hovering above the coil, uh, above the air hole. It'd help if I was on camera, I suppose. So, yeah. So we want to trap this other wire.
and then we have a build then he goes and drops it right anyway so we have a build now what we need to do is we need to pull that that way and pull this this way so they don't never touch and then what I want to do is you can see that that coil sits directly above the air hole what I want to do is I just want to pull it up a slight sort of maybe one or two millimeters and what that will give me is that will give me a better airflow to the coil I don't know if you can see that underneath there but me lifting up the coil has just given me that little bit of extra a little bit of clearance just underneath the coil and that just allows for just better wicking capability really um, right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to snap off these little parts here like so then I'm going to lift both of these up I need to also snip off these little wires like so that is our build right there right what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift both of these up and stick them inside the cup and then what I'm going to do is tighten the cup up and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the little flathead screwdriver I'm gonna poke some silica down some, some silica down into the little well part now this is just how I do it, this isn't the way of doing it, this isn't the most effective way probably, there probably is a lot better ways of setting this up, but this is just um, just a quick, because I don't want to be going into different coil setups and stuff like that in the review video, they are going to be coming, but they're coming later on. So there we have our coil. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm going to juice this coil up and I'm going to stick it on a device just to make sure it fires. So we have just a few drops in there. Then we grab a device. That's hopefully got a battery in it. Like that. All right. Then we screw it onto our device. it on then we want to look if it's firing and that is firing very well now you may ask why it's not firing that much that's because I've used a battery with low life left in it um, reason for doing that is because I don't want to put it straight on a fresh battery and then pop the damn coil so that's why I've done it like that right so now we want to change devices or change batteries just to give it a test fire on a decent battery and there we have it now we're gonna lock this device like so and we're gonna build this tank back up this up back up so we take our bottom tank section out of these tank sections they are identical there is nothing different about either one of them so it doesn't matter what is your top and what is your bottom right so here's our bottom tank section like so then I'm going to put the chimney on then I'm going to use our clear tank section
then I'm going to use our top tank section then I'm going to use our fat while I've got it at this stage I'm just gonna pull this back off just these two windows here um, and the reason for that being so I can show you what it looks like in stainless steel mode so we have our bottom section like so we have our stainless tank window which comes in the box so that's a bonus and then we have our top tank section then we have our lid or top cap if you like like so that's how it looks in stainless steel mode uh, pretty swish it's got to be said pretty nice so what we want to do now is I'm going to take both these windows off again and then I'm going to switch out to the clear tank section there we are put the drip tip back in that is a fully assembled K1 light clone now what I want to do now is fill her up so filling seems simple enough um, the amount of people that I know that have got this wrong uh, it's sort of sort of a little bit bewildering how you can get filling a K-Fon up wrong but there's our little fill hole there as you can see there so what we want to do is luckily tea juice bottles have this little needle which fits nicely we just want to if you can see the tank section there and you'll start to see it filling with juice so what I usually aim for is that just a bubble left in the window and now this again is just personal personal preferences personal opinions but I find that that gives me the best wicking uh, if you overfill it it won't wick properly and if you underfill it it's not going to last very long so that's just where I fill it too just just the, just that point so you've got a full tank but you don't have an overfilled tank I probably could have fit more in but I don't want to overfill it and then we screw it back onto our device there we are and we are cooking now what you can do to sort of give you if you haven't got enough flow or if you need some extra juice is you can put your finger over this little air hole and just take a couple and I mean literally a couple of small drags you don't want to be doing that too much because then you'll flood it but what that will give you is that will just give you a little bit of extra juice in the chamber and you'll see bubbles going up the tank just like that that's telling me that there is now juice in the chamber so And we're firing and we're cooking on gas right um we'll come back up to me and we'll have a talk see you in a second right so we've seen the k light clone up close we've seen its threads that are really nice and fine we've seen how to build a cat well one way to build a k light clone 
uh, we've seen everything. Um, this is just like a wrap up, see how it performs. So. performs very well very well indeed um, I'd put flavor somewhere in line with a killer that sort of almost dripper flavor but not quite um, I've not had any problems with the 510 drip tips fitting that's the shorty drip tip there which is exceptionally short gives you a much throatier draw but we'll leave this one on for now it's a bit cooler it's a bit more mellow uh, yeah so to wrap up the k fun light clone it's available from modernatties.com for the price of thirty four ninety nine. Um, with everything that comes in it the spare tank two drip tip screwdriver bag of spares um, it's a good price in my eyes it works well it's made of full stainless steel you do get two tank sections so if you are like me say the Ithaca I broke my plastic tank section so I had to buy a replacement with this you have a replacement in the box so that's a big big plus um, it will work just as well on a VW device as it will on a mechanical device. Uh, there's only one drawback to using it on a Vamo for me, and I'll show you. There we go. One drawback of using it on a Vamo is pretty much length that is damn near a foot it's got to be <laughs> that's just an insane amount of length but it would double up as a good weapon yeah uh yeah but all round decent device a, a, a decent device a decent clone this is a one for one copy so Svermesto parts should fit this atomizer um, which is handy because I do have my eye on a blue tank section so I shall be getting that as well but I digress £34.99 you are getting a solid stainless steel device you are getting a good performer you are getting a good throat hit you are getting a good flavour you are getting an all round decent device right I've been Dan for Shizzle I'll see you in the next one